All right, so we are doing reading for Gemini. All right, Gemini. Ooh, okay. Retrograde, retrograde, Vesta, and Pluto. Okay, let's start with these. Okay. All right. It seems like to me you're going backward in life. You know, you, you feel like you're going backwards. You're retrieving to your old habits or you're going back and visiting some past people, some past memories. And, um, but I think it's like, you know how sometimes you go back and you think it's holding you back? I think this time you're just revisiting with this, like a new um, adventure, right? Like you're rev you're going back in your mind or like in your life to an old place, to an old person. But now it's, it's um to to be able to understand where you went wrong. So it's almost like, it's gonna give you this new knowledge, right? Of where you went wrong and what you need to do to apply to your present life, to your present sense of self and to your way of, you know, your habits. But like when you're going back into the past now, either it's memories or a place or a person or a relationship, um, now you have a different perspective. There's some things that you can actually, I think you want to fix um, uh, with this type of relationship or this place or there there's something that you want to fix within yourself right there's a new sense of adventure within you when you're approaching these things there's some things that you know that you have learned from the past or you now that you had some time to reflect on it and review it and um now you have a different perspective that is going to put you in a place um, if you were to ever revisit something, it's going to go in a different light. It's going to go in a different way. Um, right. So this is going to be the time. If you do go back, it's not going to like hold you back. You're actually going to be able to, um, you know, fix something in the past, you know, someone will be able to actually ask for an apology uh, or ask for forgiveness um, and vice versa. So it's like there's going to be some healing done between you and this entity, this place, this relationship where, you know, even though you thought the bridges might have been burned, now it's, it's going to be rebuilding this relationship um there's a new there's going to be a new relationship built over time with this person um uh, or you know this place or just just like a place within yourself there's some um reconstruction that's going on within you right that um you finally able to um everything that you worked on on yourself you're able to apply it now right it's also like a rebirth um and you also want to ask yourself um uh, because i don't want you to there's the possibility that this might happen but it doesn't mean that it might work this time so this is just letting you know even if you go back in time to a person to a place to a relationship if it doesn't work out this time does it mean that it's not going to work out in the future so whatever you're going to learn by going back once again you're going to be able to bring it with you in the future right to be able to fix something in the future that will 
just help you become a better person, just help you build better relationships, just help you be able to learn more and to uh, recommend uh, relationships, right? Broken relationships. Like you're not someone who's able to just you know, walk away and not understand why. Like you want to know why, you know, communication is your forte. So you had tried to communicate with this person, you had tried to uh, fix this relationship and now is the time, right? Like now everything is gonna plan out where you're gonna be able to fix whatever was broken or um upgrade the relationship um right or give it like a new sense of um a new beginning um so and Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay. So, I also, and, and this doesn't have to be romantic. I also see in, um, you know, second house resources. So, there's... There's going to be some resources coming to you, right? There's going to be money coming to you where you're able to finally put things in motion um, to be able to get the life that you want, right? So everything will be coming to you. Everything will be given to you. You're going to have um, the sense of being able to take what you have learned in the past or to fix something from the past to fix something within yourself or this past relationship that can bring you something new um, in your mindset that will help you to have that rebirth right and then you're going to be presented opportunities that will be coming to you as resources. So this could be information. This could be a, a business contact. Um, this could be, you know, like uh, just finances, like a bonus, um, or even like, um, I want to say like a push within yourself, you know, like an, an encounter with, um, a God like that will give you like that energy right um, to be able to put things in motion to be able to actually like see the progress that you have um, that you have been working on right so and I like there's gonna be like a big push that you're gonna feel it's going to be a lot of Mars energy and Mars energy is all about action. So you're just going to feel this surge of energy out of nowhere to be able to just start doing things um, that you've been putting off on a back burner. Um, it's just going to be everything will line up perfectly um, and things will start moving for you. So you know, I see like a business proposal, I see perhaps uh, even marriage proposal, I see new friendships forming, um, I see you just being able to heal something within yourself that you've always wanted to, to be able to kind of like close an old chapter in your life and move forward. So there's going to be a lot of actions, a lot of energy moving through you, a lot of motion um, where you know, before things might have been like steady and um, just kind of going with the flow. Now everything has a purpose. Everything has a plan. Everything that's going to happen is going to lead you to the next step. So you're, you're finally going to see that without even your effort, things are going to be happening for you because the Mars energy is just going to make it happen for you. Um, the resources, second house, once again, like this is a great, great 
time for you to you to utilize your resources so everything that you have like if you have something saved up and you want to start that business do it now if you you know um want to be able to um, upgrade your relationships and you have done the healing work and you might have held back because you thought you were not worthy enough it's time for you to leave whatever is not serving you and move forward into new relationships that will give you even more resources i want you to be like strategic about it because the resources that you're going to be using to put things in motion you also want to make sure that it's going to be beneficial for you it's going to multiply so a lot of times what happens is we use all of our resources and they just run out but i want you to be smart about it and you know this energy that's coming to you and this rebirth that you have been doing um i want you to be able to use the your resources to be able to multiply them to be able to make more things happen for you I think that's going to be super important to make sure that you're set for the end of 2024 and the beginning and the rest of 2025, right? So things are definitely going to just start happening for you. Um, and let me pull one more card. Moon. Okay. Um, I don't want to do it upside down, so moon perception yeah so not and i think what's gonna happen for you is not only things uh, like financially and the physical world will be um like doors will be opening up for you opportunities will be opening up for you you're just gonna have all of these source of energy and resources but also the moon the emotional side of you the perception i see it being more focused on just i just see you being more emotionally detached and i don't know if you're familiar with law of detachment but i see you just doing that you i see you mastering the law of detachment you know and the law of detachment is basically like if you want something happen for you just detach from it emotionally you know you detach emotionally from a person and this person now is more attracted to you and it, it like now this person wants to be in your life if you detach yourself from wanting to have these this money um and, and it'll just come to you so i see you mastering this law of detachment because now you have realized that that's what you need to do in order to focus on your goals and to um be able to put things in perspective uh, uh perspective right so it's not like you're emotionally cold, it's you're emotionally detached and it's working for you and you're seeing the results of you just kind of like removing yourself from situations that are too emotionally exhausting, right? Or removing yourselves from situations where you know that you're trying, you're the only one trying and this other person or this other situation is not going to work out anyways so you're like okay let me just detach myself let me focus on my goals let me do what i need to do in order to make this happen and it will happen for me so you're you have like this new sense of um confidence right within yourself where you just know things will happen for you um so that's a great place to be in because I think you have exhausted all of your possibilities anyways when it comes down to being emotionally invested when you're when you wanting something so badly and I think you understand now that 
if you emotionally detach there's a lesser risk to getting hurt or to be like overly invested in something that may not work out or to kind of like hoping for something that may not happen right you need to be objective about it you need to be objective about your goals so great things are happening for you i'm super excited and if this reading has resonated with you gemini let me know